up everyone welcome to the channel today i'm going to be venting on uh yeah you called it tiktokers i really venting on something else but i'm gonna project my vent towards these individuals and not, not nothing bad i mean it's nothing bad uh yes but it is funny though i will say that or at least to me it is so let's get into it first tiktoker is uh this is his uh title nothing you're doing is as important as what we're doing ups driver issues pca about delivery trucks blocking cars sparking debate so apparently delivery truck drivers according to him they're doing the most important job they're doing god's work on the road according to him i'm not saying it this is what my man is saying right here uh there's a name for people that think that they're the most important person or they're doing the most important thing we won't get into that but this right here kind of breaks it down. Nah, bro. Why is your time more valuable than mine? And again, I I have a little quarrel with this because time is extremely valuable to, I think, everybody. I don't see why you feel that your time is the most valuable out of everybody else. I mean, you don't even know what you're delivering half the time. I'm not saying that what you're doing is not important. But to think that you what you're doing is the most important thing. Again, I feel like you might be trolling us because you can't have that much level of, I ain't going to say the word again, but of, but you can't have that, that much level of, uh, you know, of whatever you, you, you gotta be trolling. I think you're trolling. You don't mean that you, you just don't, it can't be, it can't be realistic. I think this is a troll because I think this person knows that they were going to get such a big response to this. I mean, they end up getting a, a lot of views for this and, you know, sparked a little debate, whatever, yada, yada. But I think he's trolling. There's no way that, I mean, I didn't see the video because I don't like to click on the TikTok too much. And I read the whole, his whole spiel anyway. And it's really, yeah, it is what it is. I can't believe this can't be real. And if it is, I mean, God bless this kid. This kid actually thinks he's that important. Uh, and what he's doing is that important. He's going to, you know, I hope he stays doing this forever because, you know, you know, wish him good luck. Let's just say that. I don't, I don't, he's young. When I was at that age, I think I said a lot of stupid shit too. So I'm not calling the, the, the young man stupid. I'm just saying, but what he did say was pretty stupid. Let's just say that. Next one is don't let employers try to bully you into being someone you aren't. Former hotel worker says he quit. After managers ask him to change his appearance. Dress codes, reinforcing dress codes is not being bullied. Uh, I don't know the whole story, so I'm going to try to see it from both sides, right? So if the hotel, because I worked for hotels before, if the managers did a bad job reinforcing this from the beginning and following the rules as far as the dress appearance and dress code, and I don't know where, just throw it in in the middle, the person started, you know, was dressed one way all the time, was out of dress code for the whole time and one day they were like you know you can't dress like that meanwhile those were the rules and they were not enforcing it i would see how the employer would feel or you know they would not the, the employee would feel uh some type of way and i get it that's the only way i would get that this guy feels like he's wrong though he's being i wouldn't say bully's going a little too far but we do know that you know, being a victim seems to be a very, very popular thing on TikTok. So I don't think he was being bullied. I don't think he was necessarily a victim. I think he's maybe some bad managers. If they did not tell him off the bat that this is a dress code. I worked in hotels. Hotels have dress codes. They just do. I had to follow them. Everybody got to follow them. It doesn't make you special if you were told to follow a dress code. It just makes you part of the the organization that's all you know following the rules of the organization it doesn't make you a victim it doesn't make you being bullied uh and i could tell by your appearance that that is usually not the standard of any any hotel for you to have usually not loud colors it's usually natural colors you you can't really have earrings all over your face you, you even if you have earrings even for ladies they can't be too much they gotta usually prefer to you have studs and stuff like that so I don't think being bullied is going a little too far, obviously. I mean, this is still not as bad as the guy at UPS that's uh, saving lives and delivering nuclear weapon codes to uh, the places, you know, in the, from his UPS truck. 
definitely not as bad as that person, but uh, you know, this is it is what it is. And the last and very least thing. So this is now. This is the last one I'm going to go over. This is the new rave on TikTok, putting butter on a board with other toppings. That's the new rave. So I found out some. You know, this TikToker actually did a little hoax that they went to Texas Roadhouse and they made their own butter board and they had the server, you know, serve them their own butter board and kind of record it for the TikTok. And people were like, oh my God, butter, you know, butter boards are now being served on Ro Texas Roadhouse. And I'm like, what the F is butter boards? So I looked it up and it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really just butter on the boards with of course toppings. But on TikTok, as we all know, if you put something on TikTok that is very easy to replicate or to do, that obviously has done be it has been done before. Stuff on boards has been done before. It's, I don't mean to break it to you guys. This is not new. Uh, butter on boards has been done before, and uh, not even butter, even a bunch of other stuff. And apparently, other people are catching on and doing their own butter boards. And this is like the viral thing on TikTok. So if you go down the list, people are putting uh, this is another, this is the same butter board right here. Putting cream cheese with fruit on a board. Uh, someone has hummus on a board. Someone has. Uh, this is another thing with fruit and it looks like whipped cream. I mean, it's just stuff that you usually get on the bowl or it's on, on something is being put on a board and I guess it tastes better. It must taste better. It's on a board, right? I think I've heard myself say something like that before. It must be better because they do something stupid and it's the same exact thing that, <laughs> but, but it, this is basically what it, it comes down to. Uh, it's something that has been done before. It's not it's not new. I've seen this 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, I guess back then the social media was not as strong as it is now. So this was definitely not being thrown out, whatever. But yeah, I don't want to hurt nobody's feeling. This is not new. And all it is is putting stuff that goes in bowls in a bowl in a, in a, in a board. It, it, it is what it is. I mean, the board thing got so damn popular. The charcuterie got so popular over the last couple of years. I mean, I think now it's dying out, but they're gonna bring the, they're gonna bring it back. I think in the last ten years, charcuterie started really becoming popular. So the boards started getting used for a bunch, a bunch of stuff. But before that, even ten years before that, I mean, stuff was being put on boards. Like boards didn't, were not just made ten years ago. Stuff been on boards for decades. But uh. You would never know according to TikTok. Stuff on boards is like the newest thing. So that is it, man. I uh, look. I'm glad you guys joined. If you made it this far, please subscribe. Leave your comments below and peace. Ah! 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 Oh shit. Oh and I just keep on fucking messing up dumb little shits. You know, little shit 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 shits. Uh, because I got a burp now. Always every time I start doing a video, I got a burp. Uh, Damn. This fucking cat is gonna break down this fucking door. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So this TikToker. Really? Really? Okay. 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 Fucking cats. Fucking cats. You're all right. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess we're not doing this, huh? I guess we're not doing this. Fucking cat. Just.